Welcome back for another one. Today we're working on the old Four Rivers Refuge Runner. What else would we be doing on a nice hot summer evening? Well, we've done a lot with it. We've got the hydro trip installed, we've got interior lights, we've got the light bar, the nav lights, and the motor. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the cover. I'm gonna to need to do some adjustments on that cover so then everything works with the cover on there. So let's go ahead and snap this cover on, see what we need to tweak and adjust and get after it. So if you guys have been staying tuned since the beginning of the series, this is the second time you'll see this boat with the cover on it and that's how I'm actually gonna be hunting out of it. We're gonna be layout hunting in this thing just like you've seen me do in my kayak many, many times before. What we need to do is get this on here because we're gonna need to make some adjustments because we've got this light outlet here and we've got the light bar up front. So this will be really pretty important. This thing snaps together so easy. I absolutely love it. It's got a little bungee around the bottom that goes around the bottom edge. And it's got little snap deals that you use to secure everything to the deck of the boat. Might as well throw the doors on it while we're at it. So here we got the cover and I can see one issue already and it is right here with this light bar. So it's pulling the cover and it's having a hard time to wrap around to the bottom of the boat. So what I need to do is do a little bit of trimming to make that fit. Here's my initial thought on how I'm gonna be running this boat. I've got the nav light here, which I'll need to have that out at night. So what I'm planning on doing, hopefully this will work, if not we'll come up with plan B. What I'm planning on doing is bringing this up behind the light bar. Uh, that might not work. Okay. So we're gonna need to cut a little flap for the nav light to poke through. Should be easy enough. But what we'll need to do is actually do some trimming along here for the light bar before we figure that out so we have the right placement on that. So here's the tools I've got. Got a little razor blade. I've also got a heat knife. Never used one of these before, so we'll figure that out because what you need to do is if you cut this, you need to actually melt it. Otherwise, it's just gonna fray and unravel everywhere. So that is going to be important to do. I think what I'm gonna do is cut right here. I wanna get as many stubble straps as I can uh, out of this deal so that I can still use. So looks like I'll get one in the middle here and then two off to each side. So I'm gonna be losing one, two double straps completely. So I think, I can't think of a better way to do this and I don't think it's gonna matter all that much. So, yikes, I hate, I hate cutting into stuff that's really nice and new, but it has to be done, yikes. I don't want to cut more than I have to. So I think something like that ought to work. And then we'll see, we'll cut the other side first. Kind of right there. Thing is, like I could have just drilled a hole through the cover and mounted the light bar on, but then that would mean that if I wanted to take the cover off of this boat to use it to like hunt open water or something, then I would have to take the light bar off every single time. So I think this is actually gonna be the best way to go about doing this. We'll leave it like that. I'm sure that heat knife is gonna cut a little bit away from that, but that seems to make everything fit much, much nicer. Okay, so now we gotta just melt the sides here. I don't know how long it'll take to get this thing going. Seeing some smoke now. Okay, so that went pretty smooth and I think it's looking pretty good. You can see it now tucks up under the light. I'm gonna maybe see if I can find a way to secure this down back here. Maybe like use a safety pin or something to connect the covers on the backside. Something like that, just something to kind of hold it together. 
But overall, I think that looks really good. Now, the tricky part, which is gonna be figuring out, hold on, let me see if that's gonna solve the peel back problem. Let's, let's do that before we start cutting more. I'll be pretty stoked if this works. Oh, nice. And I can just get tucked right in there, just like that. That'll work good. Nice. Then I can see everything I need to. Grass isn't gonna be in the way. This is for sure gonna be out. out. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have any other issues with the cover, but I might, who knows, we'll find out. We gotta get this thing on the water to really see what we need to do. Um, as far as this goes, because maybe it could potentially catch the water and kind of be like a parachute. So who knows what's gonna happen, but I think that looks good. But even worst case scenario, okay, let's say the cover does kind of like pop off when it's in the water. I don't think it's really gonna be that big a deal because it'll just ride like that. So like worst case scenario, like if, I have to run the boat like this to get into the spot. Really not a big deal. You can see all the lights. The cover isn't gonna be dragging. And it just, it looks like it's gonna work really well. And the worst case scenario, all I'm gonna have to do is just pull that down over the lip every time I set up. Which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing different than what I did with the kayak. Because in the kayak, everything was all rolled up and I would still have to unfurl the cover, put it over the front, put it over the back every single time. So it's nothing new for what I'm doing. So let's just plan on doing that. I don't wanna pop more holes in this cover and end up ruining it because of that. So originally I was planning on cutting a hole for that little light right there. But if I'm gonna run the boat like this, no biggie, that should work just fine. Let's go ahead and hop in here and just give it a try. See what it's all about. Motor, 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 vroom, 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 vroom. We're making our way to the marsh. Cover is up and out of the water. Nothing's getting wet, which that's a plus in and of itself. Then we get to our spot. All I have to do is put the bungee over the lip. I'm curious how that's gonna work with grass on it. What I could do actually is just use a bungee cord just like I did my kayak and bungee that up. That would work out really well. Even, it's hard to do this kind of stuff with uh, with no grass on the blind because the grass does add some bulk. But worst case scenario here, we're just going around, putting the cover on the boat. doop de doop de doop Boom. Now if I wanted to, I could probably use a bungee or something to bungee that up or whatever, push it down under, it really doesn't matter. We'll figure that out along the way, but there we go. Now we're gonna take our seat, get that bad boy ready. Bingo, this is money. That'll work great. Looks like I melted the edges on this really well. Doesn't look like it's gonna fray too much. It's PVC back, so it probably isn't gonna rip all that much. Pulling on it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip, so that looks good. So then when we're done hunting, all we gotta do, and this will be good so then I can show my registration numbers and everything and stay legal. That's always important. So we'll just lift this up and over, roll that up throw a bungee on it or whatever, that'll chill there. Pop the cover off the edge. And boom, we're off on our next adventure. This is getting me pretty dang excited with teal season coming up. I'm gonna probably try and get this boat out there. So just need to do a few more things and this boat should be ready to go. I did get it registered and 
got to get the numbers and all that. I'm glad that uh, this project went together really easily. I was kind of concerned that it was going to be a lot of work and wasn't going to get it done in time, but looks pretty good. I'm excited to sit here, chill, wait on the mallard ducks to come finish in my face. This boat's going to be pretty dang sweet. I do want to do a video for you guys here in the future comparing this boat to the Mo Marsh and kind of the differences between them, pros and cons, and showing you guys kind of first impressions wise. And then we'll come back at the end of the season after I've hunted out of both boats and show you guys what I think of them after a season of use. So make sure to stay tuned for that. There's my buddy. There's my buddy, old pal. We'll be a, we'll be a team one of these days. She's not gonna be hunting until about November though. We got some stuff to work on and she's, uh, She's getting close, she's getting there, slowly but surely. So I think November will be a good time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.